All right, so right now we're in the kind of like Tempest area. How do you like the trail so far, Aaron? It's like kind of like kind of like Michigan, would you say? Yeah. Fast flowy type of stuff. Yeah, this is all OHV area. Uh, you can find it in Colorado Treks map. It's all very flat, open type of area. What's going on, everybody? Riding with Will. I'm in the Santa Fe uh, OHV area here in Colorado. For the most part, it's all flat land, very boring. So if you don't guys don't like this, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys can skip ahead, go look at another video. But we have some very weird, interesting roads called Road End. Huh. How about you? How do you like the trail so far? Is awesome. Right now we're in uh, 2139, 2139 a 2139A. A lot of flatland trails, but they're all, you know, that's that single track on the left, my buddy was saying. Holy hell, that's pretty cool, right? wonder what that is. I wonder what the history, like, I just wonder, like, how does a house come way out here in the middle of nowhere? Like, this is legitly the middle of nowhere. Colorado is pretty crazy. Going our west and you're in the mountains. Going our east and you're back at Kansas with rattlesnakes waiting to strike. Go south and you have a mix of both. Colorado has all types of terrains as you can see if you do follow me. But anyhow, we decided to do something a little bit different today. We decided to explore the trails around Tempest, Colorado, and we honestly thought we were going to be able to do most of them in one single day, but we were wrong. We were only scratching the surface. Eventually, we do want to return to explore the other areas and the so-called dinosaur footprints near that area. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but this is actually a pretty large area, much larger than we thought. 